don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but these pocket kitties require a lot of love. I highly recommend making two. They just have so much energy, they either want snacks, hugs, and kisses. So it's probably best you make a friend, one in each color. We should probably get started. Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. Today we're going to be making this no so pocket kitty. I worked these guys up in a bulky Chanel yarn and they're about two and a half inches tall. I'm going to pop up a supply list here and then we'll get started. To get started, go ahead and grab your yarn. We're going to use an H hook. I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to chain seven. If you need a video that starts you out with that going slower, I will link that down below. We are going to chain seven. Don't lose your yarn like me. We're gonna make a single crochet in that second chain from the hook, and then we're gonna single crochet in the next five. So we're gonna have six single crochet total. Here's our first single crochet. Go into that top loop. Here's our second, our third, our fourth, fifth, and our sixth. What we're gonna do here is just, we're just gonna rotate our work so that we can work down the other side of the chain. I just tightened up that little slip knot. Usually I go in the top loop, but because the Chanel yarn is a bit tougher to see, I go into these little chain spaces right below the loop. If you stretch out your yarn a little bit, you can see those. And if you can't, you can just grab that top loop if it's easier. But I'm gonna go right down into these little chain spaces. Work into the next six single crochet. Here's our first single crochet. I'm gonna move over, find that next little chain space. This is two. Here's our third. Our fourth. our fifth, and then our sixth. At this point, we are going to have 12 stitches. I'm gonna put a stitch marker on my last stitch of the round. Since we're working in continuous rounds, we're just gonna continue on. So we're gonna make our first stitch in that next stitch. For round two, we're gonna make a single crochet increase in that first stitch a single crochet in the next, and then we'll repeat that all the way around. So I'm gonna place my hook under that first stitch. I'm gonna make a single crochet, go back into the same stitch and make another single crochet. I'm gonna move over and make one single crochet. I'm gonna move over again for an increase. That's a single crochet increase. Move over for just a single crochet. And then we'll continue on with that sequence. We have an increase. And then move over for a single crochet. Then we have an increase. A single crochet. Move over for an increase a single crochet, and then our last increase, and then a single crochet. I'm gonna change my stitch marker. I like to put my stitch marker on the last stitch of the round, but feel free to put it on the first if that's what you're used to. At the end of round two, you'll have 18 stitches. For round three, we're gonna make an increase in that first stitch, and then we're gonna single crochet in each of the next two, and we're gonna repeat that for a total of six times. So place your hook into that first stitch and we'll make a single crochet increase. So that's two stitches in one. And then we're gonna make a single crochet in each of the next two. Here's our first, move over for our second. Here is our second increase of the sequence. And then we're gonna move over for a single crochet. 
move over for a single crochet. We're going to repeat that again. So we have an increase. And then we're going to single crochet in each of the next two. Here's one, move over two. We have an increase. Single crochet in each of the next two. Here is an increase. Single crochet in each of the next two. And then our last increase of the sequence. Single crochet in each of the next two. At the end of round three, we're going to have 24 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round four, we are going to be making the ear. So I'm going to talk you through this. We're going to need a, quite a few stitch markers. So go ahead and grab those or something that you can use as a stitch marker. Before we get started, we are going to mark the fourth stitch and the tenth stitch of our round. So here I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to mark the back loop only. So place your stitch marker in that back loop. That's our fourth stitch. And now we're going to find our tenth. So here is my 10th stitch. I am going to mark the back loop only. I'm just double checking here. For round four, we're going to start out by making a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. I'm just grabbing some extra stitch markers. So go ahead and do that as well. So here is my first single crochet. I'm going to make my second and then my third. In order to make the ear, we are going to go into that front loop of the stitch that we marked. We're going to make a half double crochet. I'm going to mark that with a stitch marker. We're going to make a double crochet and then a half double crochet and mark it again. And I'm going to show you here. So going under the front loop only, I'm going to make a half double crochet. I have videos if you need them down below. I'm going to mark that with a stitch marker. This just helps for the next round. I'm going to make a double crochet underneath that same front loop. And then I'm going to make another half double crochet under the same front loop. Once I finish that half double crochet, I'm just going to mark it with a stitch marker. Those are the three stitches that will make up the ear. Now we're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. You should have five stitches in between those blue stitch markers. Here's three, four, and five. So now we're going to do the same thing in the front loop of this stitch. We're going to make a half double, a double, and a half double crochet. So here is my half double crochet. I'm going to mark it with a stitch marker. Then I'm going to make a double crochet into that same front loop only. And then I'm going to make another half double crochet into that same front loop. And then I'm going to mark it with a stitch marker. From here, we're going to single crochet in the next 14 stitches. And we will just crochet until we reach our stitch marker, essentially. Okay, we're reaching the end of round four. We are going to have 24 stitches at this point. If you wanted to count, you would ignore those three and you would count these two instead. So you would come up with 24 stitches total. Round five might be the trickiest round, so I'll just go slow and talk you through this. For round five, we're going to make an increase in our first stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next three. But I'm going to show you exactly where we're going to place our hook. We're going to ignore those three stitches, the ear stitches that we marked, and then we will use that back loop stitch. So our first stitch is going to be a single crochet increase. So we're going to make two stitches in this first stitch. So here's our first single crochet and our second. 
Then we're going to move over for a single crochet. Then we're going to move over for a single crochet. We're going to skip this ear stitch that we marked and we're going to work into that back loop that we marked earlier. So this is just a regular single crochet. Now we're going to bring our hook over to the stitch next to that ear stitch marker. It feels a little bit odd because you need to bring your hook over there. Just double check and sh I'll just show you here. We're going to go into this stitch. And in this stitch, we're going to make an increase. Get your hook over in there and then make two single crochet. Now we're going to single crochet in the next three. So we have one, two, and three. And then we have one stitch left before that ear. So we're going to make an increase. So here is our increase. Now we're going to ignore these ear stitches and we're going to make our first single crochet, a regular single crochet in that back loop, that marked stitch. Here's a single crochet. And then we're going to move over and we're going to place our hook into the stitch next to the stitch marker. Here is our second single crochet. So here's just a regular single crochet. Move over for another single crochet. And now we're going to start our sequence over again with an increase and then single crochet. So here's an increase. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. And now we'll have another increase. Single crochet in each of the next three. And then our last increase for this round. And then single crochet in the last three. At the end of round five, we're going to have 30 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. And then I'm just going to place a stitch marker in my working yarn so I don't lose it and take out all these extra ear stitch markers. Your ear might look a little low. You can just pull your ear up and shape it a little. So there's our cute little ears. I'm just shaping them, pulling them up a little bit. And that's it. So now your stitches will be easier to see and we'll just go on as normal. So for around six through 10, we're just gonna single crochet around in the next 30 stitches. So if you wanna make sure you have 30 stitches, you might wanna do that now. I am gonna mark round six with a stitch marker just so I have that for eye placement later. We're gonna single crochet and I'm just gonna show you how I like to mark my stitch. I'm gonna place a few single crochets and then I'm gonna place my stitch marker going horizontally. I'm just gonna leave that there just so it's easier to count. Going up from six, it's easier to count than starting from the beginning. Thank you guys for joining me on this crochet along. So we just finished reading the second Harry Potter. I, In all my years, I never got on the Harry Potter train, but um, we just finished the second movie. So we watched, we read the book, we read it to my daughter, and then we watched the movie, and then we finished the second one. And I liked the first book a lot, and I, and I liked the movie. But then the second book was kind of like losing me a little bit, but the movie was so good. So now we're on the third. I don't know if we have Harry Potter fans out there. Um, I know it's like you either, I like some people go crazy over Harry Potter, but I can see why now because it's such a cool story. So um, I'm excited to read the third one. And then we're going to go to some Harry Potter magic at play thing that they have, which is looks pretty neat. So I'm excited we're going to do that um, in a few weeks. So you have to let me know if you guys did that. I know they do it in different cities. So you have to let me know if you guys check that out. Okay, we're reaching the end of round six. We still have 30 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. So from here, you can crochet round seven, eight, nine, and 10. So you can keep going and you have your stitch marker to count it's round six. And then we'll meet back at the end of round 10. Okay, we reached the end of round 10. We still have 30 stitches. I'm just counting my rounds. Round 11 is our bobble round. This is where we make our feet and our hands and our tail. 
So I'm going to walk you through this. If you need a refresher on a bobble, go ahead and watch the video. I have them in the description box below. So for round 11, we're going to start out by single crocheting in the first three stitches. And then we're going to make our bobble stitch. Here is single crochet one. Move over for single crochet two. And then move over for single crochet three. We're going to be working our bobble stitch into the front loop only. And I like to say a bobble is five double crochet that I don't finish. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go through that front loop only. Yarn over, pull through. And then go through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, go back underneath the same front loop. Yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over, go under that front loop again. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through that front loop again. Yarn over, go through two. And then we're going to yarn over and go through one more time. That's five times total. Go through two loops. Now you're going to have six loops on the hook. So you're going to yarn over and go through all six loops. Then we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Here is one, two, And then here is number three. Now we're going to do a small bobble in the front loop only. And a small bobble is essentially three double crochet we don't finish. I'm going to yarn over, place my hook under the front loop only. Yarn over again, go under the front loop again. This is our second time. And then yarn over, go under that front loop. This is our third time. And then we'll go through two loops and then we should have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through all four loops. Now we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Here's one, two, and three. And now we're going to do another small bobble in that front loop only. So yarn over one. Here is our yarn over two. Go back to the same front loop. Yarn over three, back under that same front loop. Now you should have four loops on the hook. Go through all four loops. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three again. So here is one, two, and three. And now we're going to make the front loop regular marble. So that's the five. So here is yarn over, go under the front loop. Yarn over two, yarn over three, yarn over four, and then yarn over five. That fifth one gets a little tricky. Now we'll have six loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through all six loops. From here, we're going to single crochet in the next eight. Here is one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to take a little pause here to make the tail. So we are going to chain 18. So you can do that. We're just making a simple tail. You can either make it longer or shorter. See what you like. Or make no tail at all. It's totally up to you. We're going to single crochet in that second chain from the hook. And then we're just going to single crochet in the next 16 all the way down the chain. So we'll do a single crochet in that second chain and then all the way down. It gives it a little bit of a curly Q look when we single crochet down the row. And when you get towards the end, the bottom of the chain, you'll see it gets a little twisty. So we just want to make sure we're going in the right direction. I kept making the cap without the tail and I kept thinking like, what is missing? And then it dawned on me that there was no tail and I had to go back and figure that one out.
So here you just want to make sure that you have a handle on where your chain is because it can get a little twisted. So here I'm just finishing up. My last stitch of the chain. And then what we're going to do is just single crochet in the next six stitches. Two, three, four, five, and six. At the end of round 11, we're going to have 30 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. Now I'll just show you that's how the tail looks and it kind of does its curly business on its own. I'm going to grab another stitch marker and just secure my working yarn so I don't lose it. I'm just going to pop out these bobbles and if you want to you can always take a yarn needle that helps too but I usually do that at the end just to kind of fluff them out. So that's where we're at right now. We have our ears, we have our feet, and we're chugging along. For round 12 we are going to make a decrease, an invisible decrease. And then we'll single crochet each of the next three. If you don't know an invisible decrease, I have a video that you, video that you can watch. We're going to place our hook underneath the front loop of that first stitch. Then we'll take our hook directly into the neck front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three. With the bobble stitches, sometimes it can be a little hard to see your stitch. So you can go ahead and feel it, and that might work a little bit better for you. So here's two and three. We're going to make another decrease. We have a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Then we have a decrease. Single crochet in the next three. We have another decrease. Single crochet in each of the next three. We're almost there. Here is another decrease. One, two, and then we're going to kind of skip over that tail and find that next single crochet that we made. And this is three. And then we have a decrease. And then single crochet in the last three. At the end of round 12, we're going to have 24 stitches. Change your stitch marker. I'm going to grab another stitch marker to secure my working yarn because we're going to put in our safety eyes and then we can make our nose and our little cheeks. I'm going to place the safety eyes between round seven and eight. And since I marked six, I know that these are seven and eight. I'm going to place a pin up the middle of my feet between seven and eight just so I have a better idea. And now I'm going to grab my 14 millimeter safety eyes. If you don't have 14 millimeter safety eyes, just pick something around that size. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to leave four stitches open in between the eyes. I'm just going to count here. And once that looks good, I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of pink yarn. I just grabbed a, the same type of yarn, the Chanel yarn. And go ahead and weave that into a yarn needle. We're going to place our nose in between the eyes. Okay, so I have my yarn all set up. I'm just going to weave a piece through. Since the Chanel stays in place, I'm just going to kind of go in and anchor it around a piece on the inside. And now I'm going to leave a stitch open next to the eye. And then I will move over a stitch and just go up. And then I'm just going to go straight down into the next stitch over. You can leave it here. This is also a very cute little nose. You can just do that. But if you want to make the little heart shape, you can go one stitch below. Pull it up into the corner of that top stitch. And then go back up through that little corner. 
can fluff out this yarn as needed. And then go up to the opposite corner of the nose. So now I'm just going to go and make a little cheek on the side of the eye. And then I'll bring my yarn over to the other side. Just make sure you give it some, some fluff and some room because when you pull it over, it tends to pull the yarn pretty tight. And you know this yarn can be tricky, especially when you're pulling it through another stitch. Okay, so once you have that and you're happy, I'm just going to grab a piece on the inside and just kind of weave it around that piece. Just be careful when you start to stuff because I did stuff and I must have grabbed the inside of my Chanel yarn and it started pulling really bad. So when you're stuffing, just be aware of what your cheeks and your nose is doing. Okay, now that we have our eyes and our nose, we can't forget to secure our eyes, so let's do that real quick. And here we are. We're going to crochet one more round before we stuff, so go ahead and take out your extra stitch marker. Now we're going to move on to round 13. And that is a decrease, visible decrease, and then we'll single crochet in each of the next two. So we have our first decrease. We'll single crochet in each of the next two. We have another decrease. A single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Now we have a decrease. Single crochet in each of the next two. Decrease. Single crochet in the next two. Decrease. Single crochet in each of the next two. And then our last decrease, a single crochet in the next two. At the end of round 13, we're going to have 18 stitches. I'm going to change my stitch marker. You can put one in your working yarn as well. We are going to add some stuffing. I'm just going to grab a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy because we'll have one more chance to stuff. And just remember to watch that yarn as you put in the stuffing because it does like to pull on that pink yarn. And then I'm going to give myself a lot of slack so that I can continue crocheting because I know I have one more, one more chance to stuff. For round 14, we have two rounds to go. We're going to make a decrease and then a single crochet. And we'll repeat that six times total. Here is our first decrease, and then a single crochet, decrease, and then a single crochet, and I'm going to let you count here for your decrease, and then single crochet. At the end of round 14, we have 12 stitches. I'm just going to give a little bit of slack here, but feel free to put a stitch marker in your working yarn. I like to burrow like a little hole in the middle and then just add stuffing to that. I don't want to overstuff because I want the bottom to lay flat. I want the feet to somewhat touch the, the table when I put it down.
Okay, once we're happy with that, we're going to get set up again. And now for round 15, we're just going to make a decrease all the way around. So six decreases total. Here is our first one. Here's our second. It gets tricky with all that stuffing, so just take your time. Here is our third. And then we have three more to go, so just make three more decreases. Here is our last decrease. And we are pretty much done. So we are going to leave a little piece of yarn. We're going to fasten off. I'm just going to take out the stitch marker. And then I am going to yarn over and pull through. Be careful with that because you know this yarn sheds a little bit. Go ahead and take your yarn needle. We're going to close up this hole. From here, I'm just going to find my fastened off stitch, which is right here. It's that last one. And then I'm going to count. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. I want to go through that stitch. I'm going to go through the front loop only. So now I'm going to count six again. This is one. Go through the front loop. Two. Here's three. Four five and six now we have this little hole i'm just going to keep my eye on that hole as i tighten up i'm going to put my needle back through that hole and then i'm just going to give it a tug be careful to break your yarn and then weave your yarn back through that's it you guys we're done we can take out that extra stitch marker you can fluff up your ears. You can take a yarn needle and fluff up your bobble stitches if you'd like. But that is it. Our sweet little kitty is done and she's ready for some friends. Thank you guys so much for crocheting along with me. Let me know how it went in the comments below. If you are on Ravelry, join my group so I can see your pictures and chat with you and get to know you guys better. YouTube is great, but I don't really get to see any of your finished products. So hop on Ravelry. And I have a link in my box below. So I'll see you soon. If you guys need a doggy friend too, go ahead and hop over and find Pocket Pup and make your kitty a uh, frenemy. <laughs> okay, guys, head over to yarnsociety.com for free patterns.